The future of the site of the former Tulketh Hall in Preston is currently in the balance. The proposed sale of the Star Youth Centre by Lancashire County Council at the end of 2020 has been temporarily paused due to the efforts of a new charitable group, the Friends of Tulketh Hall, which proposes to save and run this site as a new and reinvigorated community resource. Plans include uncovering and preserving the lost archaeology of the site. It has been a medieval castle, an ancestral hall for over 800 years, and home to a monastery in the 12th century which was the beginnings of Furness Abbey in Cumbria. The site has been largely undeveloped since Tulketh Hall was demolished in 1959. To lose all this history to commercial development would be very sad indeed. Tulketh Hall was demolished in 1959. It once stood high on a bend of the Ribble outside of the town with commanding views stretching both down and upstream. It was one of Preston's oldest and most historic buildings, the site being home over the centuries to several well-known Lancashire families. Although a specific date when the hall was first constructed is not known, a substantial building may have stood on the site from the early 15th century. In January 1898, the hall and its grounds were bought by the Roman Catholic Brothers of Charity to use as a boys' children's home. New buildings were added on Hesketh Street to create the St Thomas Home for Boys. In 1901, this building became an industrial school, also taking in boys who had been committed by a magistrate to a period of detention. The hall was bought by the Diocese of Lancaster before World War II, but the building was requisitioned by the army and later used as an army records office. In December 1952, a fierce blaze gutted the first floor of one wing. The owners soon no longer saw a purpose for the building and it fell into disrepair. Part of the site became James Mercer's and the remainder was later given over to the Star Youth Club. On site today there are examples of older worked and dressed stone which might possibly be leftovers from the hall. The land behind the properties on Tulketh Crescent slopes steeply away to Tulketh Road and this older retaining wall below also seems to contain a variety of reused stone. But from what period of the hall's history we can only guess.